How's it going everyone? It's Javi from Weather Sponge about Thousand and in this video we're gonna go detail by detail regarding the forecast you should expect in each area in the northeast and the southeast regarding the next potential nor'easter that could happen during the late um, portion of December going into the new year because as you can clearly see based on the latest run of the GFS model we have a pretty concerning snowstorm here in the northeast happening right around Friday December 29th and i'm gonna go over the details in each specific location in the southeast and northeast to determine the chance you could experience impacts the possibility and how bad it would be if you were to experience impacts in some of these cities in the southeast and the northeast and the um, portions of the midwest as well and i'm gonna also give you guys a detailed forecast regarding when you should expect impacts when it comes to this um, specific snowstorm so first we're gonna start with the mid Atlantic and the Midwest so we, we're gonna see that this storm will develop right around December 27th in the southeast and this and this low by the way is coming off the Pacific Northwest and we do have a decent amount of cold air behind this low that's gonna create a convective environment right around the um, southeast for a heavy amount of rain to develop I'll go in detail with the rainfall in the southeast a little bit but I want to move forward to focus on the mid-Atlantic and the northeast first because that's where you should um could experience the heaviest snowfall or at least um snowfall in general from this storm system so let's focus first on virginia so as the storm continues ahead further northward we see that um portions of southern virginia you will begin to see cloudy conditions in a scenario like this for um early on december 28th on thursday we do have plenty of rainfall that's developing and then we see that by the later thursday time period we do see a decent amount of freezing rain now what's the possibility you could experience freezing rain from this well it really all depends we do see that there isn't a ton of cold air but there could be just enough of a warm air intrusion if we were to see let's say a strong north northerly flow that's going to push against the southerly flow so it's certainly a possibility uh i i wouldn't say it'll be a major ice threat as of now but it's certainly a possibility but the heaviest snowfall should occur in western virginia and the state of west virginia right around the late um december 28th to early december 29th time frame and you're probably wondering how about for richmond and um virginia beach right now it's entirely a rain event for you guys and you should expect rain right around those cities around like i said december late the late portion of december 28th and it could be heavy rain um as well and that's concerning because of course just today and a little bit of yesterday but much of the east coast experienced very heavy rainfall and in fact there was plenty of flooding here where i was in northern new jersey and my um video on that is going to come out tomorrow i just need to edit all the clips and stuff so but my point is is that there was plenty of flooding throughout the east coast so to add more rain on top of already oversaturated um, ground over the east coast um cities such as rowley um virginia beach as well as richmond that could lead to even more flooding by the time we approach the new year and so continuing to move forward with the forecast we see the heavy rain continues um throughout richmond and west Vir um, and virginia beach and norfolk um and this and um exiting into washington dc we do see that washington dc would uh, begin to experience mainly rainfall um right around um the early part of friday on the overnight hours on friday uh that's where you should expect the heaviest rainfall and this rainfall could be anywhere between um two to three inches of rain if this scenario were to be the correct one but um backtracking a little bit um moving our focus a little bit further westward this snow is very heavy throughout west virginia and it wouldn't end until December 29th now in terms of the chance that it'll impact Richmond and West and Virginia Beach and West Virginia um well I'll say that at this point it's highly likely that you will at least experience some sort of precipitation from this low pressure system it's still fairly far out we're still 240 hours out with the forecast but the European model and the GFS model are um, as of right now agreeing that there will be a nor'easter around this time period. Maybe it might not be as strong as a nor'easter, 
um, by the time we approach that time period, that's still a possibility. But at the very least, you should expect rainfall from this. How much has yet to be seen really all depends on how much instability there will be and how much cold air there will be because maybe this rainfall in Richmond and Virginia Beach could be converted into snowfall if we do see enough cold air. But historically speaking, in those cities, it's fairly rare for the cold air to move that far to the southeast. So I'll say it's less likely for Richmond and um, Virginia beach to experience snowfall based on that fact alone but it's still certainly a possibility um we never know with the weather and if there's enough cold air it we certainly could see a major snowstorm in those cities and for virginia beach and richmond this wouldn't end until the midday on friday so pretty much a time period of precipitation should be between um late thursday into the midday on friday so around 12 to 16 hours over richmond um and west and virginia beach Beach, as well as West Virginia when it comes to rainfall which is enough to dump a uh, heavy amount of rain but moving on a little bit further westward because wet of course we're seeing plenty of snow further westward so um in cities like Louisville you could experience some snowfall as it might initially begin as rain um right around the late time on um Thursday and in terms of possibility it will impact you guys still highly uncertain we're definitely going to need to see the trajectory of this storm system if this ridge ends up being a little bit further um, moving further westward then of course Louisville should expect more impacts when it comes to precipitation and snowfall as well as other areas of Kentucky like Bowling Green um, and um, other areas as well um, maybe Paducah um, Kentucky could get involved with some rainfall and snowfall if we were to see a track for the west where that's still certainly in the realm of possibility so Kentucky definitely need to pay close attention to that possibility but in terms of impacts you should ex experience impacts right around the midday on Thursday into the late portion on uh, um, of Friday so it should be around 16 hour event for Kentucky if this were to occur and a heavy amount of snowfall especially around the northwestern portion of the state where you could experience around um, potentially close to a foot of snow in some areas now moving a little bit further northward to Ohio so in Ohio we do see you um, the GFS model is currently expecting a decent amount um, for this to primarily be a snow event for Ohio, we do see a strong northerly flow that's going to bring that cool air further southward um, in Ohio. And that's going to make it pretty much um, cold enough for this to be entirely a snow event. So um, the chance that this will impact Ohio, again, still has yet to be seen um, right now. Um, it, the Ohio is a little bit further eastward, so the chance is a little bit higher than, let's say, the areas um, further westward in the Midwest. But there's still that possibility it could move off the coast. Um, like the European mall is saying, or maybe this could move even closer to where while it will bring more precipitation, it might not be in the form of rainfall if um, enough warm air intrudes. That's again in the realm of possibilities for Ohio as well. But if this were to take the GFS model scenario, you should expect impacts right around the overnight hours on Friday, very early Friday morning and extending into early Saturday. So a 24 hour event for Ohio that's definitely capable of producing over a foot of snow around the eastern portion of the state and a little bit less than that along the western portion and then for indiana and illinois so we do see that this storm will form from convective processes um, thanks to a decent amount of instability and then rain should move towards the southern portion of the state thanks to the second low um, right around the midday to early portion on Thursday and this rain could be heavy because this low is going to move relatively slowly and then it could change over the snow as the chance of snow is certainly higher in Indiana and Illinois if this storm were to extend this far further westward because in those areas it's inevitably going to be naturally colder than what you see in the east coast because it isn't uh, next to the warmer atlantic ocean waters as water sort of acts as a buffer that keeps the temperature from falling um, um as cold as let's say um what you'd see in the midwest since water um, cools down a lot more slowly than the air temperature so 
um so it, um if this were to impact indiana and illinois more likely this would be a snow event for you guys but it still has yet to be seen this could still easily be a rain event if this doesn't come for fruition look at the forecast that where i'm going at around 10 days out a lot of time to iron out the forecast but what makes it a little bit more valid or at least somewhat um concerning is that the european model is forecasting a northeast around the same time period so we need uh definitely at least pay close attention to all scenarios such as this one but in illinois and indiana we do see that the rain would approach you guys um around the early portion on thursday and wouldn't move out until the late time on friday and this snow would be around one to three to three to six inches of snow not a ton but definitely still enough to be aware about and um for the areas where northward like chicago the more populated area of illinois um there's still that possibility again it, um it could move a little bit for northwest where we're gonna need to see a bit more ridging for that snow to move towards chicago or more precipitation in general and i think that's a possibility we've seen many storms um take a track like this thanks to how strong the ridging is so in chicago you still want to at least keep tabs on this and same goes for st louis depending on how far west this goes this maybe could impact you guys and surrounding areas now moving on to the northeast so Let's first take a look at Maryland and Pennsylvania. So in this scenario, this um, the, the GFS model does want to bring a significant snowstorm over um, the western portion of Maryland, at least. And much, pretty much the entirety of Pennsylvania is at least experiencing some sort of cumulating snowfall. So um, the chance of this happening, again, it's uncertain. Um, I know I've been saying this a lot, but it's just very far out. But I want to at least keep you guys aware of this possibility especially since the european model also agrees with something similar when it comes to a, developing a northeaster and if we do see enough cold air a snowstorm is easily possible right around western maryland and pennsylvania so um if we were to continue move forward the snow would move into um maryland and then southern pennsylvania pittsburgh gets involved with very heavy snowfall potentially over a foot of snow scranton philadelphia is right around the rain snow line as this could be another one of those interstate 95 corridor um storms where it's going to be rain towards the southeast of the interstate 95 corridor but snow um on the northwestern side of the interstate 95 corridor so it's going to be very interesting to watch it really all depends on the amount of ridging just to the west of this storm system and really um how strong northwesterly winds will be from this clipper system that's exciting move um down right around um the christmas time frame if we do see a stronger northerly flow that will allow more cold air to exist for the possibility of snowfall to be higher in portions of maryland and extending into a large portion of pennsylvania and new jersey so um in terms of impacts like um you um if this were to come for fruition you should expect snowfall as early as friday morning and precipitation should be heavy at times um especially right around friday um around the noon time before eventually most of the precipitation ends right around midday on saturday with um it being just isolated to a couple of snow showers so pennsylvania still a lot to uncover with this storm when it comes to its trajectory but at the very least you should expect some sort of precipitation right around december 29th as it seems like a, some sort of low pressure system will move up the coast now it just depends on the amount of cold air and same goes for new jersey we do see new jersey you experience um rainfall as early uh, during the early portion on friday moving forward we do see the rainfall ex um, extends throughout the state um you do experience some snowfall in the northern portion but mainly a rain event here again we're gonna need to see more cold air before i can confidently say this will bring um a snow event mainly to new jersey and same goes to new york city entirely a rain event in this scenario but there's still that possibility we could see um, a little bit more cold air in New York City. So don't assume that it's going to be a rain event just yet. And same goes for New England here. Um, 
um, approach like um, places like Albany, Hartford in this scenario, experience snowfall could be heavy at times. And if this were to come for fruition, we'd see well over a foot of snow over many areas. And um, for Massachusetts, we see Boston is experiencing a rain event in this scenario. You wouldn't experience impacts until very early Saturday and then mainly ending right around Sunday um, morning um, for Boston. Um, again, going to keep close eye on the trajectory and same goes for Maine. New Hampshire as well as Vermont. Now in terms of the southeast you might be wondering where you should expect some impacts when it comes to rainfall um, and we do see a uh, moving forward with this forecast um, we do see um, by the time we approach um, right around December 26 there will be decent amount of rainfall right over the southeast um, it's definitely going to be dependent on the amount of instability just so west of this low pressure system but we do see Alabama New Orleans um, Jackson Mississippi extending into Birmingham is experiencing a heavy amount of rainfall here where you could expect anywhere between one to two inches of rainfall and that's it's especially impacting Georgia and Florida as well with thunder shower activity. I wouldn't say this um, would be severe in a scenario like this. I would need to see the jet stream dip a little bit more before I could confidently say that these that, that this will be a major severe weather threat. But it's certainly a possibility in a lot of these areas. And we do see Memphis is experiencing a heavy amount of rainfall thanks to how much this rain is lingering where you could experience two to three inches of rain right around the Memphis, Tennessee area from a scenario like this. So I'm definitely um, going to keep a close eye on this. Now let's take a quick look at the European models forecast. So when it comes to the European model, um, the European model is um, does believe that a north, some sort of nor'easter will develop. We clearly do see it right here. Um, the pressure drops down to 992 millibars. We see a small low pressure system move through, bringing a decent amount of snowfall here in portions of the Midwest. So Minneapolis, you need to pay close attention. Omaha as well, maybe Des Moines as well for that possibility of snowfall from this low. Um, and this does bring some rainfall, but there's another nor'easter just behind it. So it seems like some sort of nor'easter pattern wants to develop here um, as um, as these next few troughs move through the United States. The European model isn't bringing a significant snowstorm, but it's at least something to be aware of when um, make, when looking at the forecast over the next few days. So I'll keep you guys updated. Make sure to stay tuned um, if, um, for more forecasts. State by state, I will go more in detail with it in each video. So make sure to um, subscribe. If you want to see more, um, like this video if you do enjoy it. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Actually, before I go, I just want to show you guys one more thing. So this is a snowfall forecast from the GFS model when it comes to our next potential nor'easter that could happen between December 28th and December 30th. So this would be very significant. Like I said, look, a large area of over a foot of snow. This includes cities like Charleston, West Virginia, um, Cleveland, Ohio, Pittsburgh, surrounding areas of these cities would experience over a foot of snow. Um, this extends um, into Scranton where you could experience maybe three to six inches of snow. Albany as well could experience significant snowfall, a large portion of upstate New York, extending into Ken um, Kentucky as well, as well as portions of Indiana and Illinois. And even um, St. Louis is experiencing some snowfall. So, um, so this would be very significant if the GFS model is correct. I'll keep you guys updated if it does end up being the correct forecast model um so make sure to stay tuned for more updates but that's it for now guys and i thank you guys for watching